This is a music box. This music box plays the happy birthday song, the happy birthday tune. But how does it work? Today we're gonna find out how the music box is able to produce sounds and to deliver it to over here. But before we get started, if you don't know how sound works and how we hear sounds, you need to pause this video right now, search on YouTube how sound works, watch it, and then come back here. Okay, if now we're back, let's get more into explaining how the music box is able to deliver sound. So if you play the music box regularly, it sounds okay. Not that promising, nothing special, but if you put it on the table and you play it, yes, it makes it more loud. What's what's going on is these metal forks are tuned in specific lengths to produce some certain sound waves. Then those waves is transferred through the metal body into this flat surface where it acts as a vibrating speaker. A vibrating speaker vibrates and resonates and sends sound waves to the surface, surface it's in contact with. So, for example, if I'm playing it on the desk, it's very loud. If I got a piece of rubber and I play it, more muted because rubber sound has trouble vibrating inside rubber if you get for example put you through this plastic box there's more bass into it more more echo if we tried it if we tried it on this piece of plastic can guess the sound no surface and then contact let's try it with a wooden cutting table board Let's move this away. Okay. So this wooden table, wooden cutting board should have a different sound. So the, now the entire cutting board is acting as a huge speaker. Notice now with no contact, it's, it's barely there. Then once I have contact, Let's try a mirror. How the sound will go through a mirror. Okay. Let's try an iPhone box. Let's see. This part of the box. How will it sound like? Let's try this side. Not much. Let's go for this. Like this, like this. Okay. This should play nice. Let's try it. It's barely there, guys.
Let's let's have a part part of the sound touching. Part of the music box. Now let's go full contact. Straight from the inside. So this flat surface is what's allowing the voice to vibrate through this flat surface and direct it to the table or to that to the to a different object, to a different surface. Let's try. Let's try how it Notice from the inside, because there's no echoing, there's no, there's, it's not contained and there's no echo behind it. There's no echo when it's, there isn't much sound. But if we close it, this is truly magnificent. The level of engineering that is being put into creating Let's try it on this stuffed animal. So now with no contact, on the full contact, there isn't much of a difference. So this means it's truly, it only works on surfaces that is able to transfer the sound waves from this flat surface and resonate through the object to produce it. Since it's this stuffed animal, the tooth is from Hatch Train Dragon. It's just so squishy. Sound waves have tro have hard time going through it that well. So yep. The level of engineering is being put to produce this level of engineering. Is absolutely outstanding.